Michael, for your thoughts. And I think we need to resume our uh, plenary discussion. So with that, um, I'll, I have a slide up here that describes the topics. Um, this entire second session will be in plenary. Um, and we um, encourage you to join in at the end of each of these topics, either by unmuting and, and speaking or by chat. Uh, it might be easiest if you put your hand up um, so that we can see you and call on you, or if you uh, just put a little chat message in to everybody saying, I have something to say and we'll call on your name uh, so that that way we can call on you in order and not everybody is mute, unmuting at once. Um, so the topics today are the WDS ITO and Karen Payne's gonna be describing that. We then wanna hear about data together efforts between uh, and then how WDS and, and members may be involved in data together. This is a new initiative that you'll learn more about. Um, and Ingrid uh, will, Dillo will be leading that. We'll then talk about candidate membership and mentoring and membership men maturity. And then Hugo will be leading that discussion and I will follow up in with the fourth topic, which is uh, the question of domain versus generalist repositories. So uh, I did want to mention that there were obviously other topics we could have addressed. Um, we've been involved very heavily at WDS with a co-data WDS task group on citizen science data. A journal article was just published and I'll put that in uh, in the chat that basically addresses the questions of uh, data management within the citizen science community and a pathway to getting citizen science data into repositories. Um, there's obviously a lot of discussion in the International Science Council about the SDGs and how science can play a role in uh, moving us closer to the SDGs and providing the monitoring systems and tracking that are necessary in order to tell us whether we're on track or not. Uh, and so data play a central role in that area. Some of those questions are in the Google form that Rory posted, that Google form has a survey of the membership. And if you just joined us, we encourage you to use that link. Rory, if you could repost it since people, if they join uh, late, they will not see the chat that came before. So if you could repost the link to the form, that would be greatly appreciated. And we encourage all members and anyone who's online uh, and joining us for this forum, including non-members, to fill out that, that survey. So with that, let's uh, pass the baton to Karen Payne, who will be loading her own uh, and sharing her own screen, I believe, uh, to describe what the ITO has been up to recently. 